Thank you for supporting the GOA, and thank you for everything that you do to advance our profession. I would also like to thank Dr. Daryl Sora for the job he has done as president of the GOA. I applaud Dr. Sora for keeping things positive and moving forward during a year of unpredictability. Last year's meeting gave us hope that we would be out of the pandemic. Although it's not quite over, things have definitely improved. The world of optometry has changed dramatically since 2020. The post-pandemic or current endemic landscape includes high inflation and the great resignation, higher costs and staffing shortages, fewer and newer employees have presented even greater challenges. The pandemic has given rise to the somewhat vague concept of teleoptometry. What does this mean for our patients and profession as a whole? It is abundantly clear that there are several companies attempting to redefine eye care in order to simply benefit themselves while ignoring the definition of a comprehensive eye exam. These companies are the same players that have spent decades arguing free market while neglecting to acknowledge the benefits of a comprehensive eye exam and the importance of the doctor-patient relationship. 1-800-CONTACTS has seen the pandemic as an opportunity to roll out their online exam as a direct substitute for an in-person exam. Organizations like these have hired expensive lobbyists, contributed significant amounts to political campaigns. Their goal is to remove the patient from your office, perform some kind of rudimentary online eye exam, and sell more contacts, deteriorating the patient care experience we have worked to develop. Well, this sounds unbelievable. As we sit here today, 37 states have laws that enable 1-800 and other unscrupulous contact lens sellers to use unproven refraction apps on your smartphone to sell contacts. The companies that develop and promote these apps insist that the results are adequate in order to promote the sales of their glasses and contact lenses. These companies claim that an in-person comprehensive eye exam isn't necessary or is only needed every four or five years. Unfortunately, many people believe it. Fortunately, for the second year in a row, the GOA lobby team was successful in heading off a bill which would have allowed anyone to take an online test for contacts in place of an in-person comprehensive exam. As proponents of this bill have become increasingly active in Georgia politics, giving to PACs and campaigns, it has become difficult to beat back these types of proposed legislation. It is apparent that we will continue to have a battle on our hands so how do we intend to take it on and how can you help? The GOA Board of Trustees is closely working with the American Optometric Association to best define teleoptometry and its appropriate use. This is the first step in addressing the challenges at hand. Things have changed during the pandemic, however many aspects of an in-person comprehensive eye exam are necessary. I am hopeful we can have a better definition of teleoptometry in the near future. GOA PAC will be heavily involved in elections this year. Changes are coming. Over 50 state legislators have decided not to run for their current seats again, including Friends of Optometry, like Senate Rules Chairman Jeff Mullis, Senate President Pro Tem Butch Miller, among others. This provides us with both challenges and opportunities. I plan to develop a key OD committee to both identify optometrists who have relationship with legislators as well as to call upon and support optometrists in fostering new relationships with their local candidates. Cultivating these relationships and providing candidates with insights into our profession with the backing of the GOA is paramount to our future success. The GOA will help you to get to know your state senator and representative. Knowing your legislator is a start but we also need money to support them. We will be calling on you to contribute all you can to GOA PAC. If you have yet to contribute, I encourage you to start now. The threat of corporations looking to remove patients from your chairs is very real and should be enough of an incentive for you to contribute to the GOA PAC. In the year ahead, the GOA is working to offer another injectables course. It is important to become certified whether or not you plan to incorporate them into your practice. This is necessary to prove our profession's competence on each scope of enhancement that is provided by the legislature. Let us continue to move team optometry forward with injectable certification. 
As GOA continues to advocate for optometry throughout Georgia, I would like to thank members as your support makes it possible. If you are not a member, I invite you to join our team. If you know a non-member, I encourage them to consider joining us as well. As you know, the benefits are numerous. Discounted CE, malpractice insurance, and group health insurance products, just to name a few. The GOA is here to advocate for you and your profession. As individual doctors of optometry, we are a diverse group with varying views. We may support different organizations, whether professional, political, or civic. But we need to take a moment to recognize what unites us, and the GOA is everyone's team. This leads me to introduce my slogan for the upcoming year, GOA, Optometry's One Team. For our profession to advance, it will take the efforts of all teammates, both those in this room and those who have not yet officially joined the team. When the GOA wins, optometrists and the patients they serve win. You may be considering pursuing a leadership position in the GOA and wonder how I got here. I was born in Gary, Indiana, home of Michael Jackson. Grew up in Northwest Indiana, just outside of Chicago. I attended Purdue University and Indiana University in Bloomington for my doctorate of optometry. I'm proud not only to have the title of doctor of optometry, but also the title of great grandson of several Ellis Island immigrants. I am the grandson of a bricklayer who was awarded the Silver Star and Purple Heart during World War II. Grandson of a restaurant and tavern owner, nephew of a world champion boxer in the 1940s, and son of a math teacher, and a recording engineer who once worked with Johnny Cash, among others. I'd like to take a few moments to thank a few of the optometrists who have influenced my career. When you do a rotation at Omni, you can't miss the passion that Dr. Paula Jamian has for optometry. I started my career with Dr. Whit Lord, who served on the State Board of Optometry. I'd also like to thank some recently retired optometrists, past president Dr. Bob Burns and Dr. Greg Russell for their encouragement along the way. And finally, I'd like to thank my wonderful wife, Laura, and favorite daughter, Morgan. Once again, I would like to thank you, the members of the GOA, Optometry's One Team. Thank you.